Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Race. We're together. Sup? <laughs> and we, we just, separate was not good, so we said we got to get together. We got to do this. So we just woke up early, got in the car, started. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pastor Darius and I are traveling uh, today. We're I'm heading to speak at, at a conference, and Darius is coming along with me. So we are at the airport. We're about ready to go in to get on a flight. And uh, so we're a couple minutes early. I know this this might totally throw some of you guys off your whole day off. You're like 10 minutes early is like, is it a 10 minute savings time in Arizona? No, it's not. <laughs> it's nothing like that. It's just, we just want to make sure we get this in before we, they don't seem to like people doing live videos from like the security lines at the airport. So uh, we didn't book our flight appropriately for the daily race. So we're, we're a couple <laughs> minutes earlier. But hey, we're going through the book of Judges here. Pastor Jerry has kicked this off through that. And uh, we are on, uh, my Bible, uh, the way it's broken up, it says kind of the sixth period here. And we are introduced to Samson. Samson, it says, once again, it starts off uh, this, this whole passage here with, uh, with this statement. It says, again, the Israelites did evil in the Lord's sights. The Lord handed them over to the Philistines. So this, this promise that God had, had made way, way back, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, if you follow my commands, I will bless you. If you don't, then bad things are going to come your way. And they're, they're feeling that right now. But God always provides a way back. God always protects. And he does it through a man named Samson this time. So uh, there's the, you remember like the stories of Samson from like... Oh, those are like favorites growing up in yeah. Sunday school. Oh. Yeah. Whenever you heard about Samson, he was on the flannel graph. Big old huge ripped muscles. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. loved it. It loved was it. a good Sunday school if Samson was involved because something... Something crazy was about to happen. Something was interesting to kids. And I'm reading through this passage today. Um, I'm just reminded about how God uses some unusual characters. Um, we look at some, some of the people that God uses in the Bible. You, you know, Moses, you know, he, he's devout. He's faithful. Everyone's flawed. Everyone makes mistakes. But Samson, his flaws and his good things, he's about 50-50. <laughs> it's, it's like one good thing, one crazy thing. One good thing, one crazy thing. Uh, but but through it all, his life is set apart for God. And, and that's where it starts with, with his parents, an angel of the Lord. And actually, as we read through it, you come to find out, no, this, this is God. This is a, 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 uh, a, a Jesus coming down, like a, a, a pre-incarnate Jesus coming, the, uh, the angel of the Lord, like capital Lord, Lord there. And telling them that, hey, God's going to rescue the people from the Philistines, but you need to set apart your son. You, you need to put him aside. He can't have any wine. He can't touch anything dead. He was going to be a Nazarite. Uh, the same thing that John the Baptist uh, is, is called to, to be later on, you know, hundreds of years later. So his whole life is set apart for the Lord's work. But it doesn't mean that his whole actions are set apart for the Lord's work. He's got a bit of a temper. He does some rash things. Uh, he seems a little bit over brutal at times. Uh, but through all of these things, we, there's what I were talking about on the drive over um, he's about to make a, a poor decision, a decision that's, that's strictly out of bounds. The Israelites are not supposed to marry the Philistines, but Samson, he catches, what, catches a girl, girl <laughs> caught his eye, uh -huh. a little Philistine honey. And, uh, <laughs> and he, he want, he tells his parents, Hey, go get this girl. I, I want to marry. And the parents are like, you can't marry someone outside of, 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 you know, a non-Israelite. And he says, no, get her for me. And, and then there's just a little phrase that says, but God was going to use this to get the Philistines. And we're kind of used to like when we, when we mess up and then God takes that and does something good with it if we turn it over to him. But this was, he had a chance to stop. <laughs> like this is before he even messed up. But God even knew in this, he was going to use this to defeat the, the Philistines. And through this, you know, he began his, his assault on them. He began making an enemy uh, between him and the Philistines, uh, causing many to fall, causing defeats. And uh, we see this build up through the, the life of, of Samson. But, but what we see here today, and I encourage you, man, this is just good read. Like this is an interesting story, just period. Uh, Judges 13, 14, and 15 today. Uh, if you get a chance, read through that. We can't summarize all. It involves foxes and fire and a jawbone of a donkey and killing people. It's, it's really brutal. Uh, but God uses it all through a flawed person. And uh, I don't, that, that just brings me comfort today. That God's not looking for perfection. He's looking for progress. Samson made mistakes. He fell short. But every time he did, he would get back up and recommit himself to God. And that's, that's what we can... That's the hope that we have here today. That's the encouragement that we have here today as we live our lives following him. So tomorrow we're going to kind of 
finish up with Samson. I know we just barely even talked about it, but we're going to spend a little bit more time on this, the account tomorrow as we, uh, as we wrap it up here. But let's start the day. I encourage you, would you pray for us as well as we're, we're heading out, we're traveling today, and then we'll be together tomorrow again on the daily race. So let's pray. Lord, we love you. We thank you for your goodness. We, we thank you that uh, you give us, you're the God of not just second chances, but third and fourth and fifth. And God, you forgive and restore over and over again when we turn to you. So as we look at, at someone like Samson here, uh, who you've used in incredible ways, but has these incredible flaws, God, may we just rejoice in the forgiveness that you gave him, rejoice in the second chances. Uh, God, that we may take comfort in, in your character and who you are. In your name we pray, amen. 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 Well, hey, I hope you guys have a great, great rest of the day and uh, look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now on the next Daily Race. Love you guys. Holla.